So far we have discussed the theory of continuous random variables and now we would like to talk about some special continuous random variables that are used frequently in practice and in this video we would like to start with the easiest one which is the uniform distribution in fact we discussed the uniform distribution before so we write x is uniformly distributed and we write it like this x is uniform and this distribution has two parameters a and b where a and b are real numbers such that a is less than b now what it means is that this random variable x is uniformly distributed from a to b in other words, what it means is that the value of fx of x is constant in this range. So it's just constant c and it's zero otherwise. Now, because it's, this must be a valid uh, PDF, this area must be equal to 1. So this constant, in fact, is 1 over b minus a. So the PDF of a uniform random variable uh, that is uniformly distributed from a to b is given by this function here x is uniform from a to b and if you are interested in cdf first of all note that the cdf is going to be zero for values less than a and it's going to be one for values larger than b because the range of the random variable here is just values from a to b now if i have a value from you know between a and b then what the value of the CDF, fx of x, is given by probability that x is less than or equal to x. And we can find this from this figure here. In fact, this is this area, the probability that x is less than or equal to x. And this area is, if you think about it, is x minus a the y times this length. So it's going to be x minus a times 1 over b minus a. So I can summarize the CDF as x minus a over b minus a for values of x that are between a and b is going to be 1 for values that are larger than uh, b and it's going to be 0 for values that are less than a so that's the cdf and the pdf as we saw is fx of x is equal to 1 over b minus a x between a and b and 0 otherwise so we have the cdf we have the PDF, uh, so let's find the expected value and variance. The expected value of x, uh, as we know, is just integral from minus infinity to infinity, x, fx of x dx. In this case, it becomes integral from a to b, x times 1 over b minus a dx, and this becomes a plus b over 2. And that's what we expect, right? Uh, if the random variable is uniformly distributed from a to b, we expect that the, you know, the expected value is in the middle, which is a plus b over 2. And how about the variance? Uh, to find the variance, it's a good idea to first find the expected value of x squared, which is integral from a to b, x squared, fx of x dx. So this value, if you simplify it, it becomes a squared plus a b plus b squared over 3. Note that we know b is larger than a. So that's expected value of x squared. So variance of x is simply expected value of x squared minus e of x squared, which is a squared plus ab plus b squared over 3 minus a plus b over 2 squared. And if you simplify it, this becomes b minus a squared over 12. So to summarize, if x is uniformly distributed from a to b, then its expected value is just a plus b over 2. And variance, its variance is equal to b minus a squared over 12. So that's the uniform distribution. Uh, sometimes in practice we have situations in which the random variables are uniformly distributed and also the uniform distribution is useful when we are simulating uh, other random variables as we will see later on you can use a uniform random variable uh, to generate other random variables 
so if I have access to a program that generates a random variable x that is uniformly distributed from let's say 0 and 1 it gives me a random number from 0 and 1 we can use this random number to generate other random variables other continuous random variables such as normal random variables or exponential random variables as we as we will see later on okay thank you